we could go through together and figure out how to do our hair with the Revlon One Step Volumizer. Oh yeah! This is amazing! Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel. Today's video is hopefully not going to be a fail. I'm crossing my fingers for that. Um, my hair is wet as you guys can see and so I thought today we could go through together and figure out how to do our hair with the Revlon One Step Volumizer Power Dryer Styler. <laughs> what the heck is this called? Power of a... Oh, that's not even the title. This Revlon Dry Brush. I don't know hair dryer brush very nervous <laughs> so if you guys are excited about this hit that like button as well as subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here for the next video and let's hop right in so on Amazon Prime Day I wanted to pick up a couple of things and I actually did a video for you guys some of my favorite things to get on Amazon for $50 and under and so this was one of the things that I picked up if you didn't catch that video I will have it linked down below and I really wanted to get it and try it with you guys a lot of you wanted to see how I liked it a lot of you have it and say you love it so I just wanted to kind of share my experience I've never used anything like this ever <laughs> for the most part I'm pretty like decent with doing my hair like I'm not very good um, in the sense of, like I can't really like French braid my hair I don't do any crazy styles I don't really do anything like that but as far as like curling I can kind of like I don't know I feel like I'm okay at it like it's not really a hard thing for me to do but it's not like the I'm not the best at it so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna be with this tool because you know when you go to the salon and they like blow dry your hair and put the brush through at the same time like I've never been able to do that I don't know how to do it I don't know how what like to do with my hands I don't know how to hold the brush properly it's just all a mess so I'm hoping that I can figure this out and it's very easy like I said a lot of you messaged me and said that you have one of these and you love it so I'm really hoping I can say the same um, I washed my hair this morning so it's all nice and damp so I think I need to like get started ASAP I wanted to show quickly what I like to use in the shower for my hair so for my shampoo and conditioner I use the function of beauty shampoo I love function of beauty this one here is the eucalyptus eucalyptus scent which I actually really love it feels very like clarifying and it's very minty fresh and it's just like this burst of freshness in your shower which I really love so I'm happy with the scent this is the second time getting my shampoo and conditioner from function of beauty and so I do really like it but I think I'm just kind of in the mood for something else so when that's done I think I might hit pause on that and try something else. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I like knowing that I can go back to the shampoo and that it's a great staple to have. And I also really love that you can like, this is not an ad, but you can customize it for your specific hair type and like problem areas and stuff like that. So I really like that function of beauty is like a good baseline. Um, but I like to spice up my shampoo and conditioner every once in a while. So it's a great shampoo to always have on backup, but I probably won't repurchase um, next time just because I want to try something new. I don't know. I'm just craving something new. And then for a serum, I love the Kristen S. Working Serum. It's one of my favorite serums to use for my hair. So I put it when my hair is wet, just on my ends. And then after I've like dried and styled my hair, I will put it through my ends again. And I love it. It's so hydrating. It's been a really long time since I've had a trim, which I know is bad. Um, but it makes my ends feel so healthy and smooth and just not frizzy or anything like that. So love this and then I wanted to mention in the shower on the days where I need a good shampoo day like I didn't wash my hair for like four or five days I think so I was like needing it I love to go in with this little head scrubber I got this off of Amazon I'll link everything down below in this video and this is so good I think it's like three dollars and you just scrub like massage your head when you have all of that like foaming shampoo in your head um, and you just like scrub your scalp and it feels so amazing I love it and don't forget I always do like down here and it's so good so anyway I like to do this on the days where I need a good like scrub and I just feel like my hands aren't doing it for me and then lastly I always use my wet brush to brush out my hair so that's what I use for my hair now I will plug this guy in look at how my Amazon guy delivered my box since it's already ripped I'm gonna keep ripping it 
Okay. Oh my gosh, it's way bigger than I imagined it would be. Oh my gosh, it's so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, I'm hoping that it looks okay. I feel like if I had my short hair, this would be the perfect tool if you have short hair. Cause it's like, you can get away with straight hair with short hair, but sometimes like with my long hair, I feel like I have to curl it because it's in such an awkward stage. But nonetheless, we're still gonna try it. Styling tips. For faster results, towel dry hair, which I kind of did for probably like 20 minutes, um, to remove any excess water, then run a comb through damp hair to detangle, which we did. Plug the appliance into an electrical outlet. Use the low setting on fine or thin hair, which is my hair, and high setting on thick and coarse hair. Use the cool setting to lock in style. <laughs> Okay, separate hair into manageable sections. For smooth blowout, place the volumeer close to the roots and brush down. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to do. I guess, yeah, I just go like this. <gasps> I feel like this is gonna be fun. Okay, okay, okay. I think I basically have it. To curl ends inward, place the volumizer under the ends, blah, 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 blah. Um, to curl ends out, place the volumizer over the ends, hold, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So basically, I think I'm gonna know how to do this. I don't know why I was so nervous, but you guys know when you're at the salon, what I was talking about, where they hold the dryer and they hold the brush and it's like so many things. This is just one thing. So I feel like it'll be very nice and I'm hoping it will reach that plug. We have it all plugged in and here we go. So it's gonna be upside down because I can't turn it this way. <laughs> um, but here are the settings here. So you have cool, off, low, and high. So I'm gonna go low because my hair is very thin and we'll just start drying and see how we do. I wanna... Okay. I need a, I need a scoot just a little bit. Okay, so I've done a couple and it's actually fairly easy, but I feel like the low setting is just like too cold and I kind of want this to be a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna do it on high. I know that there's like heat damage, but it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah. So I've done a couple pieces and it feels really nice, but I think what I'm gonna do is now separate my hair into sections. So I feel like this could go quicker if I do that. So I'm gonna go grab a hair tie and section off my hair. Okay, I just have my little, I don't think I need to do too many sections, but I have my little scrunchie. And just to be able to get the bottom layer, I think this will be helpful. So let's continue. <laughs> So there's my hair all dry and I actually think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna quickly put some um, of that working serum in my ends just to make them a little less frizzy now that they're like straight. It feels very nice, I will say. Okay, so there is my hair and like I'm saying, it feels really nice. I will say, if you have short hair, this has to be like the best tool for you. I wish my hair, and I feel like my hair is kind of like short. It's definitely getting longer, but it used to be much shorter and I feel like that is like the tool for you. You could just go so, so fast. I will say the sound that it makes 
it's terrible it's like a it sounds like an air dryer but then there's just like this underlying ringing that i feel like i'm in a different world for some reason i don't like that i do not like the sound at all and it does get extremely hot so if you're on the hot setting it gets very hot when you're like close to your face close to your neck not anything to be like super nervous about but just be careful um and i don't think it's worth it to do it on the low settings i feel like it would take forever um when i was doing it i felt like oh this is taking forever and I kind of I missed that motion of just being able to like mess up my hair and like run my blow dryer through it but honestly like the fact that I don't have to go and straighten my hair is the best like my hair is so straight my hair is like naturally pretty straight anyway I would be interested to see how you'd get on with it if your hair had a little bit more wave or texture or something like that but honestly for straight hair gals and guys this is amazing i actually genuinely really love it um like i said i think it's just some getting used to as you could see like i was starting to kind of go underneath and then i felt like i couldn't get the top of my head so i just was like going like this and like brushing my hair through and it worked pretty well um and then i just went back in and kind of tried to i don't think it like curled my ends amazingly inward like i would with a straightener like i can go very intensely and then it just kind of like falls beautifully but it's not too bad at least it's like all very uniform and it does have that slight curl in I just feel like it's so hot to leave it there for a while but anyway I think I just need to like practice a little bit more but I genuinely am really happy with it there aren't any like wet spots on my hair which feels really nice like I said I think it's just having to switch your mindset of like after this I don't have to go um, style my hair because that's when i was like okay this is taking too long like having to do like each section like a couple times like i was like oh but the fact that i like my hair is done i feel a lot better about it and it looks very like silky and shiny which of course is not from that it's from the serum but <laughs> i just feel like it looks very like sleek and straight and again if i had short hair i feel like i would have loved this so much so i'm kind of like now i'm tempted to cut my hair again but honestly for the deal that i got it at i think it's really really nice and if you don't have to worry about dealing with drying your hair and styling it I think this is a great way on those days when you want to give your hair a little bit of a break from all of that heat even though this does have heat I feel like it's nice to just do like one thing um I don't know I love it a lot I'll have to see how I feel about it next time because it's just this was my first time <laughs> but honestly I feel like I could get really fast at it um you just have to kind of know how to work it I guess and I'm wondering if like doing it this way is like bad but when I was like putting the heat on this way, it really helped get the back of my hair and the top of my head. Everything else doing it this way was pretty nice. And like it stays there. So you don't have to hold it. Like I just feel like it's so easy. And now I'm done. Now I'm ready for the day. So hopefully this was enjoyable for you guys. Um, just a quick little review video. I'm obsessed with it. I feel like I can't stop looking at my hair. I haven't had my hair straight in a really long time, which I think this will be helpful for me because I do want to give my hair a little bit of a break from all that heat and help it continue to grow. So on hair washing days and stuff like that i think it'll be nice i'm interested to see how i sleep on it and how tomorrow goes i don't know if you can like do next day like touch-ups like i feel like that would be nice to be able to like once you work out like kind of reheat it um and brush through it i don't know i'm interested to play around a little bit more and see how that works but for the most part i'm very happy with it i'm very excited now i can kind of see why everyone's in love with this i'm gonna keep playing with it and if you guys subscribe to my channel and keep up with the vlogs i'm sure i will talk about this in future videos just casually in my vlog so subscribe so you don't miss out on any updates or future videos give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know if you have this tool down below and if you have like any tips or anything I should know um, when using it and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys right back here for a brand new video very soon bye